you doing, everyone? Welcome to Ellen Day's Ellen Comedy Night. Thank you, Russell, for that gorgeous intro. Okay, thanks for your interaction there. That was very nice. Appreciate that. Um, so I've just got back from LA last week on Saturday. That's why I look so tired because um, I don't know where I am in the fucking world at the minute. Who here's from the US? Anyone? I'm sorry. <laughs> Who here's from the UK? I'm sorry. Who's from Europe? Yeah, the US is so interesting to me because you, you have funny words for things. Like when I was asking to go to the toilet, people were like, sorry? And I'm like, and they're like, the restroom? I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right, the restroom. And then it's just fucking bizarre. But it was a great trip and I really enjoyed it. And it was gorgeous and it's so nice to see you all here today. And we've got some incredible acts for you tonight as well. So I hope you're excited and having a good night. Woo! I say, you having a good night? Have you had a good day? Let me know how you're feeling. I've got water retention. I feel sick. I hate my husband. I feel like me. I'm fat. Ready? Are you having a good night? Yeah! <laughs> I like this. What did you say? Who was that? It's your birthday tomorrow. How old are you? <laughs> Come on, you don't look that old. How old are you? Uh, 38. 38? That's great! 38! <laughs> This guy. Hey, this guy. What's your name, Daddy? Adam. Andy. Andy. Where are you from? Um, Brazil. Brazil? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Always got big dicks, haven't they? <laughs> Is that true? No, you can't verify that. Um, how old are you? Um, 38. 38 as well. There we go. Anyone else? Who said woo? Blair. Blair. How old are you, baby? 36. Should we sing Happy Birthday? Just for that. Because it's my night. We can do what the fuck I want, okay? Ready? After three. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. obsessed with you actually. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Daisy. Are you having a good night? Yeah! You having a good night? Yeah. I'm expecting this, alright, not too bad, yeah, I'm quite tired. Are you having a good night? Yeah! yeah. Amazing, fantastic. I'm loving the red lighting tonight. It feels like we're in a slutty bit of Soho, doesn't it? <laughs> like, oh, I'm sexy, sexy. I can't even see. I've only got one good lens and I run out of lenses. <laughs> I'd rather spectate, but this is not even a joke. I'm just telling you what happened. <laughs> this is just my life. I ran out of my lenses, and uh, now I can't see. So if I look a bit like that, that's because this one is doing the job. This one is the old pair, so there we go. Anyways, <laughs> who have we got at the back there? Hello, my love. Hello, you. Are you in a nice little today? Uh, uh, West London. West London. Whereabouts? Teddington. Never heard of it. Teddington. It's near Twickenham. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm from Dagenham, so I'm very east. Has anyone been to Dagenham? Yeah! <laughs> Where are you? Let me see if it's my stalker. Oh, no, yes, I'm joking. Hello, baby. Um, Dagenham's one of those places you normally just fucking drive through. But they are building a film studio there, which we've been waiting for for about five years since we bought the property. So come down to Dagenham soon, because it's going to be gentrified as fuck soon. <laughs> Um, we're not going to even be able to afford a property. Like, once I start my property, are you wish, bitch? That's the thing in America, you know, they always say, like, they say things like, everything's so aggressive, it's like, cat. Oh, I look so cat. Have you heard that? And it's like, oh, slay, you bitch. Like, that's a good thing, apparently. Uh, and work, work, honey. But unfortunately, some people don't work. <laughs> Crystal subject. Um, right, I'm going to introduce the next act tonight. It is the incredible Jack Shep. Let me hear some noise. Oh my god, everyone's shouting so loud. Oh. 
the roof front. <laughs> and I mean that. Talking of cunts. Should we do a little cheers? Has everyone got a drink? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Repeat after me. Here's to me. Here's to me. Here's to you. Here's to you. Let's start going to the wrong. Here's to you. Here's to you. Here's to me. Here's to me. And if we all should disagree. And if we all should disagree. Fuck you, here's to me. Cheers! <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Right, how are you doing? Have a good one. So I'm a bit sozzled now, so I know who I am. <laughs> Woo. Who's vaping these days? Because I, 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 yeah, I've turned to a vape. Are you vaping? Is anyone vaping? Yeah. What flavour is your vape? Watermelon. Watermelon. Any other vapors in the house? What you got? I got grape. Excuse me. <laughs> Say again. Grape. Great. <laughs> that quite loud. <laughs> that just, yeah, I heard rape. <laughs> and I grew, I grew up in the countryside, so rape was all around me, and I mean rape seed, okay? The fields were yellow. Any other vapors? Any rapers in the house? <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's not very nice. Um, so we lost Tina Turner tonight. We all do just say, uh, rock and roll. Here we go, ready? And we also lost Ralph, what's his name? Rolf Harris. Rolf Harris. We should have seen it when he was talking to the pussies on the vet show, do you know what I mean? Like, he's disgusting, horrible man. Anyway, sorry, enough about Robert Harris. I wasn't expecting to talk about him tonight, but... There we go, that's my childhood, it's fucked up. Um, right, okay. So, apparently I did Drag Race. Who watched Drag Race, by the way? Anyone? I honestly, I forget I did it most of the time. We did it during the pandemic. Which was a horrific time for everyone, right? Yeah. Yes. Bloody awful. One day I was working, rehearsing for Hairspray in the West End. The next week I was shelf stacking in Dagenham. <laughs> right, where people have teeth, like they're from the mummy's returns. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, ooh, where's the lovely? Yeah. It's fucking gross. <laughs> and I hate customer service. I'm literally the worst person. I hate... Anyone that asked me a question, I used to work in Harrods as well, and I used to have to ask, do you want a gift wrap? And they'd be like, yes please. And there's six of them, I'd be like, okay, come back in 10 minutes. Uh, I hated it. I'm never doing customer service again. Anyway, because I'm a drag queen, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be a cunt and I get paid to do it. Anyway, let me introduce the next act. It is the gorgeous, the wonderful, Maddie HW. Let me hear you. Because that's what people do in this country now, they're not only fans, aren't they, to make some money, even my parents are doing two live cap shows a week. Do you know what, I'm struggling as well, I was buying drugs the other day from my local dealer, I had to pay for them with Klarna. That's <laughs> kind of funny, paid off a very unenjoyable K-hole actually in three small manageable monthly instalments. And you're very lucky to have me tonight, everybody, because actually yesterday was a big day for me, it was my birthday. <laughs> We're going to guess yours in a minute. Mm. Oh. 25? 25. Oh, your girlfriend's either a blind bitch or very condescending. Uh, <laughs> or a combination of both, actually. But that, I'm not going to ask your age. It's actually rude to ask a lady your age. You, how much do you weigh, love? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, I was actually 41. Woo! <laughs> nice gays look younger than normal people, don't we? How old are you, Bryn? 30. As I was say, gays look younger than normal people, don't we? <laughs> Poor Bryn's probably lived in a polluted area all his life, hasn't he? They do, they do, they do look younger. I think he's coming down as much stress. You know what I mean? Apart from all those terrible gays that do loads of crystal meth and go to loads of orgies. <laughs> I stopped all that in. Ooh, what are we in now? April, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> but I've got, I feel a duty now as an older gay. You know, we've got to turn, give a cheer all the over 40 gays. Yeah. Oh, loads of them. Loads of fucking bears and otters and whatever they're called. Um, <laughs> So, uh, I recently had a breakup, guys. Oh. 
Get over it. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm not going to be bringing that up all night because that would just be like unbearable to watch. You know, like a James Corden film. <laughs> Any fans of James Corden in the room? Woo! Um, <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the thing is, like, James Corden, he's always queer baiting, isn't he? Like, he does lots of movies where he pretends that he's gay, he always camps it up. You know, normally, I would take issue with that, but I think when you've got someone of his calibre, you've, you've got to let it slide, right? Like, he, he is such a good actor, he can literally inhabit any role, even if it's nothing like him. That's why he advertises Weight Watchers. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no so, 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 yes. Well, you let pass off.